In this question, they want us to calculate the number of euros that has been converted. So first, I'm going to write down the exchange rate, which is 1 euro equals to 1.635 five dollars. Since we're trying to find euro, I'm going to label that as x equals to 1,962 dollars because it's given in the question. So now I'm just going to cross multiply and that would be 1,962 multiply with 1 equals to 1.635x. So to find x, I would do 1,962 over 1.635. And when I put that into my calculator, I would get a value of 1,200 euros. So our answer is 1,200. The second question is the family spent 15% of their dollars on a tour. So they only have 85% left. So now let's calculate 85% of their dollars. Multiply with 1,962 because that is what they started with. So now I'm going to change the percentage into decimal, which is 0 0.85, multiply with 1,962. And that would give me an answer of 1,667.70 New Zealand dollars. So the next question says the family visits two waterfall. The ratio of the heights is 5 to 1. The Humboldt Falls are 220 meters higher than the Bridal Veil Falls. Calculate the height of the Humboldt Falls. So let's say the Bridal Veil Falls, we'll name it as Y. And since they said that the Humboldt Falls is 220 meters higher than the Bridal Veil Falls, so HF would equal to 220 plus Y. Okay, so now that we have that, I'm going to write the ratio down. So, Humboldt Falls to Bridal Veil Falls. So that is 5 to 1. We know that Bridal Veil Fall is Y and Humboldt Fall is 220 plus Y. Now I'm just going to do cross multiplication. So that would be... 220 plus y equals to 5y. So 220 equals to 4y. So y equals to 220 over 4. And the answer is 55. So now we have to calculate the height of the Humboldt Falls. So we're going to use this. So that would be... 220 plus 55 which is 275 so the height of the Humboldt Falls is 275 meters moving on to the next question they want us to calculate the percentage increase so what I'm going to do is I'm going to do 9752 minus 3680 over the original which is 3680 multiply with 100 and that would give us 165 percent so the percentage increase is 165 this question says that there's an increase by 45 percent and they want us to calculate the rate before the rain so 100 percent so 74,240 equals to an increase by 45%. So that means 100 plus 45%. And what we're trying to find is the rate before the rain, which I'm going to label as x equals to 100%. Again, I'm going to use cross multiplication to work this out. So that would be 145% multiply with x equals to 74,240 multiply with 100%. Now 
Now I'm going to change the percentages to decimal. So that would be 1.45x equals to 74,240. So x equals to 74,240 over 1.45, which is 51,200. So the rate before the rain is 51,200 liters per second.